day three. And surely we're in the home stretch by now. Surely. We're almost out of checks that we have currently available. So, uh, there must be a progression item hiding in one of these few checks. I don't have unlimited time today as I would have liked. I have maybe five hours? Maybe a little more. So about the first stream was less than five hours and we got six of the nine items then. We got none on the previous stream, which means we're due. In fact, I remember last time... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Last time we finally got the uh, giant's wallet and we bought the mushroom. Which, that's a check that is not listed in the... In the checker here. Hello, Darian. What else do I have? I have the mushroom and the saw. Alright, let's... Because I have that and we don't know what it is, let's check the mushroom. We also have the iron boots now so we can enter the water temple and see what dungeon is there. Still no prelude of light. Hello, Brian. Uh, so we have no way of getting back to the Temple of Light, Temple of Time, except to reset the game currently. Which we wouldn't even have if I had set the, uh, if I had set the, like, adult spawn to a random location. Although, in that case, I don't think it would have put the Temple of Time there. I think it would have accounted for that in logic so that uh, we could always get to it as an adult. So let's see, uh, the mushroom. Who wants the mushroom? The mushroom goes to the lady in the potion shop, and where is the potion shop now? Oh, I forget. Let's see, medicine. Odd medicine building is the Skulchula house. Okay, that's not far. I'm choosing to ignore Navi because she has uh, reached the vanilla threshold and run out of new and interesting hints for me. So she will now be uh, haying into the oblivion. Hello, Jack. I would like to finish this today, and I've got about five hours to do it. This isn't the po- no, this isn't the odd medicine shop. It, it, did I misunderstand the entrances again? Yeah, I must have. It's at the Kakiri Forest. Which I don't have a warp to, so I'm gonna have to walk. Can't get over how smooth this game is. It has a, a variable frame rate setter. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Uh. Settings, enhancements, frame interpolation. We can make it OG. We can set it back to N64. I don't know why you would, but you could. We could also set it lower. Let's see what... What's the lowest? 21? Why is it 21? That's an arbitrary number. I guess they didn't bother to, uh, they didn't think anyone would be dumb enough to set it lower than the, uh, than the vanilla. 
So what does off do? I think that was the frame rate setting. I know that you can change the frame rate for the specifically the interpolation uh, because this is a based on a decomp of the N64 game's original files. They were able to uh, it, it it just adds frames of animation is what it does. So it can be whatever frames uh, frame amount you set it to. Which is also neat because it's future-proofing. When we get to, uh, you know, 120, 240 FPS monitors. This can do that. This isn't the right place. This is the abandoned Kikiri shooting gallery. Here we go. Alright, lady, I got a mushroom for you. Okay, piece of heart. Well, that wasn't worth the trip. I never fully got the implications behind uh, what was going on with this family. Alright. Let me double check. Where else can we do? Technically, we can do the, uh, the forest, the Gerudo underwater room. I don't want to do that, though. Field Diving Grotto. That's right, there's that grotto in Hyrule Field. Oh, we should have done the... The Lakeside Lab is in Kikariko. We can do that now. Okay, so Kikariko, Grotto. I can work to Kikariko, actually. So. Whoops. I'm going to check the lab, I'm going to check the uh, grotto, and then we're going to go to the water temple. Which is probably not the water temple, it could be anything down there. Because the temple entrances are randomized. Zelda's lullaby would be great, because that would open a bunch of stuff. The Pona song would open all of the cows. We're still missing both of those. I wonder if you can use the item replacement glitch to play something like the saw. I've never really messed around with the, the extents of that. I believe this is the lab. No, I was just in here! Okay, the lab is up here. This is a little confusing, but it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There aren't that many interior entrances in this game. Scrambling the exterior loading zones. That would be a mess. That would be a maze. Boy, I can't wait to do that next year. Alright, hey. Oh, here, here's something that... Uh, what did I do? What did I just have there? Hookshot. Here's something that this can do. Yeah. I can set equipment to the, the C buttons. I, f 
forgot there was a spider down here. Alright, rupees. Alright, so I wanna... Oh, no, I needed that crate. Whoops. Consider it cheating if you use iron boots? No, he, uh... He doesn't acknowledge that you touched the bottom if you just stood there with iron boots. However, there is a way to uh, trick the game. That must be in logic because it says that I can do it. Oh no, it's not in logic. The uh, the item it says I can get is the underwater crate, but I, I can do this anyway. So uh, you use the hook shot, and then while it's traveling, you pause, take off your iron boots. Now it considers me to have touched the bottom without using the iron boots. Yes, very fair, very legal. It's a blue rupee. I got five talent. Thanks, old man. I knew you believed in me. Well, that's two checks that were nothing. You got no talent. You're flat. No Pona Song, no Bunny Hood. Both of those would be just lovely. I wonder if there's a... There might be a setting to increase movement speed. There's a bunch of just random settings you can do in this. Hello, Big Po. I don't think they're good for anything. They, they still drop big pose, which uh, I already turned one in, so. I don't remember if... Uh, I think hammer works for these holes. Hammer time. There it is. Oh, I saw what this was. It was the Zora tunic? Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's the blue cuckoo. We were all wrong. What did, what does that do? That, uh, that oh, wakes up Talon, who, if I recall, is sleeping on top of the mountain. All right, well, we, that's a check. We can use that. Let's go visit Talon in his mountainside uh, escape. Lost Woods. Oh, that's right. It's the it's the the pocket cuckoo wakes Talon. Just uh, sleeping up here on a mountain. Yeah. I confused my chickens. Confuse, chicken. Chicken, confuse. Did I visit Metagoron yet? 
I don't remember if I checked what he was selling, because I think you need... Was it 300 rupees for it? Maybe it's 200. I'm pretty sure he tells you what he's selling anyway, so, uh... Gold Skulchula token? I say no! second I thought that was Kojiro. I think it just uh, it just does that when you come here at morning time. Alright, what do you got? It's a tycoon's wallet. Alright. That's a new item. Exclusive to the randomizer, just for convenience. It is not uh, required in any way. Oh, so I guess it's convenient, but it's not a progression item. Let's see, Hyrule Field Grotto, we got that. Alright, Water Temple it is. I'm pretty sure we have a quick way to get to the, uh... Yeah, we have a quick way to Lake Hylia. Hello. You having a nice day? I think it's Link's house. Is in fact the rear entrance of a potion shop. Hello. Here we are. Alright, let's see what is in fact at the bottom of Lake Hylia. Maybe it's the Deku tree. Maybe he's down here. We don't know. Oh, that's right, I didn't get the... I got Kojiro, I didn't get the Zora Tunic. Well, I, I sure hope it's not the Water Temple. Oh god, there's a Stalfos? No! I gotta open the temple, leave me alone! One of the shops is selling Zora Tunic. That's right, they are. So I could always buy one if I needed to. I think it was the Kakiri shop? Alright, what's in here? What's underwater? The fire temple's underwater. I see. Alright, Lake Hylia. is the fire temple. What can I do in the fire temple? Probably most things. We, we're pretty well equipped for this. We already got the hammer. Also, it's vanilla, so I don't gotta worry about any stupid master quest gimmicks. Oh, hello. This is a room I have to clear enemies in, isn't it? Ow. Oh, I gotta worry about that iron knuckle. He's gonna damage me. It's immune to arrows?
You're not immune to arrows. How am I gonna kill that thing? They specifically make the Jabu Jabu enemies, like, immune to anything that's not wood, in theory. So I would think that arrows would be able to deal with them, but I guess not. Oh, I can stun them. I know that. We learned that earlier. What am I doing? I got bombs. Nuts. Maybe while it's stunned. No. Why is this the hardest enemy here? Uh... Navi said hitting its tail kills it. Well, I know that, but it's electric. If I do it with my sword, I'll just get shocked. Maybe the hammer? No. This is metal, so this shouldn't work. It doesn't work. Can I actually not kill this thing? I might not have the tool to tools to kill this thing. Maybe the mas the power of the Master Sword will work where the big Goron Sword did not. No, it won't. What? Well I guess I'm defeated! I don't think I have anything else left to try. I can't use sticks as an adult. I'm much too mature for that. I don't have magic with which to use any magics. What if I just, uh, what if I just shield it? Well, how did that work? I'm so confused. Is it immune while stunned? And there's the R-Wing. I don't think I need to clear out this room. All right, I got 20 gems. Awesome. Let's leave. Uh... That was a spider. Fire Temple Basement? Or that's like a sped up version of Ganon's laugh or something. Fire dancer chest. Give me something good. Bombs. I don't remember if I mentioned it. So this version does not have the uh, Triforce Hunt mode. However, unlike the N64 randomizer, it is able to scramble the dungeon rewards as pick upable items. So uh, I'm just looking to find the medallions wherever I can find them. I 
believe this was originally the boss key chest. Hello, Goron. I really don't actually get anything for freeing these guys. Just, like, hints. hover boots, so, uh, as in theory, a couple things in here could be trickier, although you're not supposed to have the hover boots when you get here, so, I guess I've just gotten used to them from uh, previous randomizer runs. Nuts. That's all, I think that's all I can do in here. Until I have the boss key. I start with all of the dungeon keys, however the boss key is still uh, somewhere in the dungeon. No, not the like like, not the not the Sith like like. Big chest. Magic. Magic. Heart piece. Thanks. I care in the world. Oh. So when this moves down, it's not actually moving down, it's another block that is in the past moving here. Best thing I could get right now would be magic. Either of the songs would also be wonderful. This is a crowded room. What are you? You're a bundle of arrows. Thanks, but no thanks. Lava room, open chest. Open chest. Is there just a chest that sits out in this room? I don't think there is. I 
don't know what that check means. There is. Do you remember where it is? Just remember the doors on both sides. Well, I guess I'll. Oh, wait. I remember. Maybe. Maybe I don't. Those are those are just pots. One of those platforms. One of these golden ones? I have a latency set to ultra low, by the way. So, let's see if that works any better for our purposes. Well, this one launches. Surely I would know about such a chest from previous randomizers. Where am I supposed to be launching to? Are you guys sure about this? This one does not launch. This one, So I, there are two that launch up, and neither of them appear to go anywhere. One of them went up to a room with pots. I'm not going to say I don't believe you, but I don't believe you. So I'm just, I'm going to put this on hold. I'll come back if I need to. It is very easy to get back to this room. I bombed the wall that is bombable. Alright, bull- uh, no, we're not in the boulder maze yet. We got a little ways to go yet. Gotta watch out for them dungeon vultures. Really? The pot ball? No. It wouldn't be described as an o as an open chest. If we're behind like a bombable wall or something. Boulder maze, here we go. Here's some stuff. Oh, it's gonna be full of weird enemies too, because normally it's full of, lo of uh, torch slugs. I keep confusing my left D pad with my left C button.
That's a red rupee. Get out of here. You can't get me. I know you want to get me. You can't. This is a fancy looking chest. What's this? Something good? Please be good. All right, we got the long shot. It's not the best progression item, but it is a progression item. We have access to a uh, Gerudo Canyon now. Sorry, the wrong fuku. I feel like there was one other thing in this room. Yeah, there's a switch down here I need to press. I always go around the whole perimeter. At least once to be sure. Spider token. I don't know which chest this was. Map chest, maybe? They just label whatever chest the map and compass were in as map chest and compass chest, which if you don't have, like, really detailed memory of the vanilla dungeon, that really isn't helpful. need to do that. I could have just gone in through the other the other room, but oh well. This is either the map or the compass chest. It's a Goron it's the Goron's Ruby. That's not a medallion. I guess it would be here, wouldn't it? That is cool, but not helpful to the end of, uh, of gaining access to Ganon's castle. I think all the spiritual stones get us is that if we get all three, we get the Ocarina of Time cutscene, which is, like, one check. <laughs> this is a silly room. Full of silly monsters. Fall. Get out of here. chest. Come on. You've got the medallion, right? You've got a 200 Pokemon. 
No, if it I, so, I guess if it's a medallion or a, a jewel or something, it would be in one of those gold rimmed chests. They've got some weird, like, new models of chests to put different items in in this version. It would seem like. Why is it? Why was this already bombed? That's weird. Alright, little chest. Give me that bundle of arrows. Thanks. I need this in Twilight Princess. I need faster climbing. Ah! No. That might be a setting in the Twilight Princess randomizer for all I know. No, go up there. Maybe if I'm closer. There he goes. don't remember how annoying it is up here. No, this is this is where the compass chest is. I think. Because, like, no one ever gets the compass chest up for the fire temple, because it's up here behind a scarecrow where you would never look for it. I-I-R-C. There's also two spiders up here. No one ever get the compass in the fire temple. No, this must be this. Never mind. This is the scarecrow chest. I wonder what was originally in there. It was like a big rupee or something. dungeon design, in general. This is a Bennett Foddy dungeon. Like, half the time, you could just, uh, you could fall down a hole and go back to the first room. And that's it, you just gotta climb back up again. Well, we found the boss key.
that fire saved me, actually. Hello, Mr. Goron. You think this temple burns a lot of coal? This is all magic fire, right? It never runs out. different people's uh, strategies versus these guys are. Because I've always just done this. What does Navi say? Extinguish its flaming clothes first. I, don't, I guess the hookshot was just the first thing I tried. I know there's a Goron that tells you to use bombs against it, but that just seems so much more, like, inefficient. That's right, the hammer. Well, now this one you have to fight before you have the hammer. Because we're about to get to the place with the hammer chest. can't save state, because this isn't an emulator. It's a small chest anyway. Man! Why you gotta be like this? Alright, Megaton Hammer Chest is a blue rupee. Sorry, five spoons. them out of order. Yes, I did. We were supposed to come up here and get this is where we would get the hammer and then we would be able to smash the statue at the entrance and fight the other flare dancer. Oh, p hats are tough. They take more than one hit from the big Goron sword. What does Mega Alakazam have? Doesn't he have like, uh, doesn't he have like five spoons or something stupid? As Abra evolves, it just gets more spoons. Alright, 
pillar dropped. I guess I can't make that jump. Maybe I could have with a jump attack. <clears throat> I gotta see now. I can't let the jump win. No, I cannot. Darn. Yeah, we must have gotten whatever the, uh... Whatever the lava room open chest was because we're out of things to check. Alright, off to Volvagia. Volvagia. I don't think we got any other uh, dungeon boss keys. I don't think we've gotten any other dungeons with boss keys yet. Well, we found the Spirit Temple. That's not the way to go. The Spirit Temple is the only other adult dungeon that we found. I mean, the only other temple, rather. There's also one small key that I guess we didn't use? I just saw that. Well, it's next to a bunch of other, like, big lava room chests that were easily recognizable and that we did get. I fought no less than three R-Wings in this playthrough. I am prepared for, for Volvagia. I guess we could conceivably have the uh, the big Goron sword by this point. Oh, he actually does like hang up there at the ceiling when he does this attack. Did I not look up that high in the, on the N64, or did I just never do so? I thought he, like, disappeared into the ceiling and was just unseeable for some reason. I don't know how elaborate the music, uh, randomization in this is. I don't remember. Did Ocarina... Did the N64 randomizer have scrambleable music? It didn't have all the wacky custom music like the Majora one has. Bombs. This worthless dragon. I wonder why we don't have the, uh... Why there's a key that we didn't use?
Oh well. That was the weirdest lake temple in any video game. Well, now we should be able to do the sun. According to this... <laughs> you having a good day? Good night? What is that? Just a piece of ice? Weird. It's a bundle of arrows. Man. Lake Hylia giant tree. Oh, we can do that because of the long shot now. Okay. So, in the N64 randomizer, they put a gossip zone here that let you change the, uh, the water level. In this, I guess, it's this? So we need fire and we need the megaton hammer. Which we have fire, we just don't have magic, so uh, that'll have to wait. Oh, come on. Golden Gauntlets. Not a huge item, but it's... A, I guess it probably unlocks a check or two. It opens, uh... It opens the Fairy Fountain by Ganon's Castle. I wonder where that goes. Who's living back there now? We already found all the Fairy Fountains, so it's not gonna be a fairy. Well, we can go check there, and we can go to, uh... We can go to Gerudo Valley. What else did Longshot open? Anything? Gerudo Valley, Gerudo Fortress, Haunted Wasteland, which we know the Slingshot's there. That seems like a good lead. We can finally have, like, an actual weapon as a child. Boy, I wish I could, uh... I wish I could warp to ca the, the castle town. You know what? Technically, I can. Probably also uh, buy that, uh, buy that Zora tunic. Soon. It'd be cool if there were more of these around Hyrule. Hey. 
It's really just here and inside Ganon's castle. Oh, this is Ganon's horse stable. Well, this is where a couple of cows are when we get uh, Gerudo's, or Gerudo's, Epona's song. Anyway, it'd be nice if we got to use the uh, Golden Gauntlets more, because they're like the final item item that you get in the game, even after the Light Arrows. They could have done something like Mario Odyssey, where they put these things all over Hyrule, you know, blocking off cool points of interest. There's really not a post-game in this. Which I guess post-game isn't really something you think of for Zelda games anyway, but, uh... Hello! Ingo works for Ganon, that's true. I guess in the vanilla game I figure that uh, all, of, all of Hyrule belongs to Ganon, therefore Lawn Lawn Ranch is Ganon's horse stable. He just teleport there when he, when he wants to. Pretty sure he can do that. Still no Epona. Still no Bunny Hood. Golden Gauntlet should increase damage. Yeah. You can do that with all the strength upgrades, in theory. You'd have to have a uh, much more complicated damage system, but, uh... That's just numbers. It's not a big deal. Still no magic. That is one of the... Th we're missing two medallions, and we're missing magic. That's what we need to beat the game. And the magic is especially frustrating because there's two instances of it. And we haven't found either. I can't help you, cow. I don't have I don't have magic fire. I do have the Gerudo membership card, so I can just uh I just run around. Once again, do you think we can get three for three? Maybe we'll do next year's randomizer, and once again, Anju will be an honorary Gerudo. It's happened twice now. Oh! Oh, now that we can get over here, we can turn in the poacher saw. This is an item. Hey, this yours? Why is it called poacher saw? What is this what is this guy doing for a hobby? You're a monster. We finally got Zelda's lullaby. Alright, let's see how many checks this opens up. It says currently 17 available, 38 available. That opened up 21 checks. Oh, where does this go? What's in here? Hello? This is a weird place to set up shop. Alright, uh, you got nothing but crap. No one's ever gonna shop here. I'm still gonna go to the Haunted Wasteland because, again, we know the Slingshot is there. I, I want a Slingshot. We know a Slingshot is there. That's something with, like, three instances, and we haven't gotten any yet. All right, Hammer Rock's chest is Blue Rupee. Get out of here, Iron Knuckle. Where are you? I didn't even think there were enemies on this map. The 
pillar. There's another spider over here, and there's a grotto. I'm really curious where this thing is. Is it down there? Oh, it's in the water! Cause, cause there are Octoroks in the water. Except now they're keys. And one very soggy iron knuckle. God, there's finally stuff to do now. Oh, just the, even though just the long shot was great. Zelda's lullaby? Hmm, you're spoiling me. Where the hell's this grotto? Oh, that's right. It's not a... It's a Song of Storms Grotto. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Spider token. You better be- you better make my 10 rupees count. Bomb shoes. You know what? I'll take bomb shoes for 10 rupees. I can carry a lot of bomb shoes. What shop is that even? I thought we'd found all the shops. Shop. Oh, it's the child potion shop. Which I'm going to mark as all garbage, because it was all garbage. So, nothing there. Alright, Gerudo, uh, Gerudo Fortress. And we are already an honorary Gerudo, so... We can just waltz on in. Actually, this is another, this is another dungeon. What's going to be the new Gerudo training ground? I see. Y'all are guarding the forest temple. Good to know. I'm going to put that on a, I'm going to put a rain check on that. Alright, we still need to save one carpenter to fix the bridge. Which I don't think will do anything, but there's like one reward somewhere. Oh wow, two jump attacks and you're not down yet? There we go. I got 200 kroner. Carpenter Guard 1. What is that? I think that's just like a, like a chest in one of the... Uh, one of the rooms with a cell. Is this it? Oh, this is where I just was. Does anyone like this place? Statistically, this is someone's favorite area in a Zelda game. 
is trying to navigate these weird doors all over the place. Here it is. This is the place. I thought... No, there's no chest in here. Maybe it's just the key? Maybe it's just the small key you get from, uh, from beating her. Alright, there's a spider at the archery range, and there's a spider at the uh, top of the fortress. We can't actually do the archery range because we lack a horse. Tragic. He can walk backwards really fast, but every now and again he just kind of stumbles on nothing. We've gotten a couple progress items, but we've still, unfortunately, not gotten a single of the three remaining necessary to beat the game items. Probably said this before. What a geometric mess this game must be, or th this this area must be to try to figure out. In terms of like, uh, I want to see someone layer the interior of the dungeon as compared to the exterior, and just see how little sense it makes. Surely it would be more navigable if it actually did make sense. Spider 2 is another token. No. Hook oh, Scarecrow. Guess what this is? We already know what this is. It's another spider token. This is where they've all been hiding. Alright, Haunted Wasteland. What can we do there? We can't actually do the chest because we don't have the, uh, we don't have magic with which to use the Lens of Truth. We can visit the Carpet Salesman, and we can, uh, we can get the spider in the ruins. No, it's not the, it's not the Lens of Truth we need, we need fire. in order to light the torches in the ruins. We do not have the uh, hover boots, so we're gonna have to long shot over. It's a long shot, but I think we can make it. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Why does it say we can do- I thought we need the hover boots to get to this guy. I can't long shot onto the carpet. Can I grab his hair? Shut up, Navi! How dare you! Uh... Yeah, why does it say I can do this without the hover boots? I could have sworn you needed them to make this gap. Okay. Wow, is that in logic? Really? Well, what has he got? Stra stuff strange and rare. It's a pocket egg. Yes, I'll take it. 200 rupees? That's a steal. This is what I'm going to wake Talon with. All right. What's well, a nice thing to have? Neat. The uh, trade sequence items are ones that I want to use immediately because uh, they're not in the tracker because they're not a thing in the N64 version. So if I don't do them immediately, I'm going to forget. Ruins Spider. Nuts. So, uh, the slingshot is on the... It's in the chest that we cannot summon because we lack the magic with which to light these torches. What what a tease. Are we just not going to ever get any child items in this run? We're just never going to be able to be, to uh, fight as a child. What else did Zelda's little by unlock? Obviously, it's just little ones everywhere all over the map now because of the fairy fountains. Death Mountain Crater, the Fire Temple. Oh, it unlocked some stuff in the bottom of the well, but I don't because it's it's down there. This is the well. Look at all that well. I still want to. Uh, I want to avoid child dungeons until I have something that I can actually, like, fight with as a child, though, if at all possible. Gerudo Fortress to Training Grounds. Oh, there's like 18 items in the in the forest temple. I don't like to admit it, but we should probably go to the forest temple. A mountain man. Do I want to go around fairy fountains, or do I want to, uh... Do I want to just go straight to the forest temple? This is stuff.
Do I need to clear all the enemies to get through here? Yeah, I do, because in by in vanilla it's keys. Oh boy, and one of them's the jellyfish. It's gonna spawn a bunch of random shit. Fortunately, these ones don't curse you like they do in Majora. Don't! He's, he's going for the exit! Once again, I can't get the chest in here because I lack the fire with which to light torches. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is where I'll get magic. Some, uh, wacky stuff down in this crypt. Plants and gomas. Oh, it's just bombs. That was the treasure of the royal family. It was just bombs? At least all those won't uh, respawn since I already opened the door. Alright, Anju. I have invigorated your chicken. Why are there so many of these in the world? I thought it was just that, like, in shops. What else was scrambled that drops bundles of arrows? Are there that many just sold in shops? Also, where was the Goron, the Goron tunic? I believe was... I think this was the Kikiri shop up here. Yeah. Give me that tunic. There's a tunic. There it is. All right, tunic acquired. Where were the fairy fountains, anyway? I'm just gonna look up. Fairy. Great fairy from Zora's fountain. Goron shop was a great fairy. I'm, I'm having trouble processing the format of this tracker, so I'm just I'm going to go back to the map. The map was easier. Castletown had a great fairy. That was right, it was in the back alley. Before I leave, does Kakariko have a great fairy? It does. The windmill is a fairy fountain. Let's go around some of the more easily accessible fairy fountains, and then we'll go to the forest temple next. 
I man, we had such a good lead for the slingshot, and it's the one place that we can't get it. Thanks. Good fairy. Very useful. Well, that's one checked. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. Alright, is Brian out? Hello, Brian. I'll tell you something helpful, Sonny. I heard there's a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. That's right, I'm going to it right now. You're so wise, Brian. Uh... I can only go in this person's house at night? Well, that's weird. This person being the Great Fairy, of course. Rupees. Sorry, 50 bells. Use those to uh, pay off Tom Nook. I want to see an Animal Crossing game that takes place in Kikiri Forest. With Tom Nook broking realty. Let's see, Lon Lon Ranch has a fairy fountain. Lon Lon Ranch has two fairy fountains. Let's go to the ranch. Back alley was such a sacred place. That's right. Well, you gotta hide the sacred places so that the forces of evil don't find them. I've said this in, like, vanilla playthroughs. Isn't it kind of strange that Ganon's version of Hyrule Field is actually more peaceful than the child version of Hyrule Field? Bit weird, that... Alright, I believe the sa the stables and the silo are both fairy fountains. It's just all the monsters were out in the field. They needed homes, and Ganon provided. He wanted integration. He wanted them into the towns, and the, the, it's just the, the Hylians weren't down with it. Boy, these are these are turning into some useful uh, useful fairy fountains, aren't they? I didn't know she came out and sang at night as an adult. That's that's kind of sad, actually. I should go talk to her. So 
so what's left? Goron City has a great fairy. We can also do, like, Darunia in Goron City as a child now. You wanna, you wanna all go do Darunia? The frogs have the... I can play the lullaby for the frogs. Does Kakiri Forest have a... Yeah, Kakiri Forest had a, a fairy fountain as well. Oh! Oh, once I did the, the chicken for him. He's back here at the farm, even though Ingo still owns it. I guess. Yeah, Ingo still owns the farm, but he's here to work anyway, and, and support his daughter, who is still stuck here. I'm confused. They're acting as if I've saved the ranch, but I don't have a Pona song, so I, I can't have saved the ranch. There's some strange flags here. Alright, so the remaining fairy fountains are in the Kikiri... Kikiri Forest and Goron City. There's Adult Zora's Domain we can now access and unfreeze the king for an item. Actually, we can get there pretty quick from the, uh, from the forest. We can use some warp shenanigans. Check a couple of these places before having to resort to the Forest Temple. I always try to manufacture these seeds such that I have to do dungeons as little as possible, and then I just I end up having to do most or all of the dungeons anyway. I guess because I start with all the keys, that's like all of the key chests are potential item spots. So maybe I screwed myself a little bit by doing that. I think the know-it-all house is the uh, is the fairy fountain. We haven't been in here in a while. All right, give me the Deku nuts. Bombs! Just bombs, nuts, and arrows. You know what also it is? It's the, uh, it's the business scrubs that are scrambled. That's, that's where all of the, uh, that's where all the supplies are coming from. Can't do that. Don't got a slingshot. Sorry. Oh, we can access the adult ice cavern and see where that goes, too. That's gonna be like the water temple or something. Fire's temple cleared. Gorons are back. Clearing the water temple doesn't bring the Zoras back, though. Please be the one good fairy fountain. Nope. It was too much to hope for.
There's also that one dumb spider in Zora's Fountain that we can do. That, that uh, red rupee that's just been sitting there in the entire game that we haven't gotten. Because we can see that it's clearly a red rupee. Night time? No, it's not. Not that you can tell from in here, but I think it matters for the spider. Fortunately, I have, uh... I have one red fire remaining. Sorry, one blue fire. Once again, my house will have to remain frozen. Sorry, me. Hold on, King. Just one second. If you're stuck, you could always give up and use the spoiler log, idiot. Oh, no, 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 camera, please. I don't want to jump off that. Final blue fire. Do you have a... Do you perchance know Epona's song? No. He, he, know, he has a bundle of arrows for me. Navi, what? Okay, we're actually getting new hints. There are hints that I already know, but there's still new, like, dialogue, so that's nice. I thought we'd run out. Alright, Zora Fountain. Iceberg heart piece. Underwater heart piece. Zora's Fountain hidden cave spider. Why does it say... Oh. Well, yeah, we can also... We can access the, uh... the ice caves. I think the last time I played this, the uh, Tycoon's wallet was down here. Now it appears to be nuts. Look at them soggy nuts. Float up faster, Link. Please. <sighs> What's in here again? Oh, it's a silo. don't remember if time passes on this map or not. I don't want it to. Does the sword not work? I think we only regularly encounter these guys underwater. I thought you could just sword slash them. Maybe I just missed. 
Ocarina has some uh, wacky damage tables for enemies. I'm I'm aware of that. All right, hidden cave is a heart piece. Underwater was nut, and it looked like the iceberg was just like a red rupee. Now it's a spider token. Ice physics. Oh, oh, I was up. All right. What is in this random Jabu Jabu cave? Could it be the water temple? Could it be the shadow temple? It's the Deku Tree! Well, this is easy enough to do. Maybe I should just do a quick run around the Deku Tree. As, you know, an adult. Yes, I know about climbing vines, Navi. Please. Lobby chest. I guess that's a good point. If Link's adventure started in Zora's domain, the Deku Tree would be around here. Now here's a potential problem. Maybe I'll just save that platform. Maybe that's how I, I get out of this room. There are way, there are times that you have to reset this room in the randomizer because uh, you don't get the slingshot in this chest. And thus cannot shoot down the ladder and escape. Ooh, big chest. It's not gold, though, so it's not a medallion. Piece of heart. More like a piece of fart. Get out of here. You, down. Is there anything on the wall? I think all the spiders turned into grounded enemies, so I'm good. Boy, it's gonna be weird fighting Goma as an adult. Can I even... Does the arrow work on her eye? I don't know what her damage tables are like. Oh, I can't light this because I have no means of lighting things. Get out of the way. Alright, biggest bomb bag. Not important, but nice. The biggest bomb bag is 40, but I can start, like, holding 50 bomb chews at least. Tree Compass Room Spider. Can I climb this? No, I didn't think so. Oh, I can't leave. Uh oh. You can't use sticks to light the web? Uh, you don't use sticks to light the web, you jump through it. Fortunately, because I'm saving inside a dungeon, resetting will uh, respawn me at the start of the dungeon, though, so. The 
the ship puns are because uh, this PC port is officially called the uh, Ship of Harkinian. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you might be right. I, I know the other web you're talking about. It's so crazy to think that Link, as an adult, is physically unable to clear a dungeon that he, he, he is able to clear as a child. Like, even right now, if I were to become a child, I would be able to clear this dungeon. Alright. Basement chest. Basement gate. Whole lot of nothing so far. I can't even get into the uh, back area of the dungeon. No, leave me alone. Dick. I can't even get into the back area of the dungeon. Because, uh... I do have arrows. I don't think there's any way that I can angle a shot such that it will burn the web that I need to burn, though. So here's the question. Deku Tree Basement back. Why does it say that I can do that? Because I cannot access this dungeon as a child. I actually cannot get here in child form. Because, uh... Of where it's located. I can't get to the ice cave entrance as a child. Why does it think that I can get to the back room here? Because I can't burn this web, and I can't go through the entrance. For my body is too large and masculine. I could try! No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I think this, uh... This tracker's just a little bit fucked in this particular spot. I will be able to get through once I have, uh, you know, magic. Alas. Alright, well, what else can we do? Just the forest temple. Ah, uh, frog lullaby. That one Gerudo training ground room that I don't want to do. Bottom of the well. Yeah, it's mostly just a forest temple and bottom of the well. Couple things in Goron City. Alright, well. Let's go to the forest temple. It would be great if uh, that tent at the Gerudo Valley went to one of the potion shop doors. The potion shop with uh, two entrances 
I think that's the only interior room with two entrances that are both accessible. So it's basically just a free shortcut between two maps. And uh, the ones I got were the Kikiri Forest and Lake Hylia. Thud. So I am still without, like, any fast means of getting to, uh... Getting to Gerudo Valley. I'm just gonna have to... I'm gonna have to hoof it. Probably should have done the Forest Temple while I was there. Maybe not my best decision, but, uh, boy, I just, uh... I really just didn't want to. I still kind of don't want to. Champion Lava Slug. Maybe they figured they wanted to keep, like, uh, some places that you couldn't get to quickly, just so that you would have to walk across Hyrule Field. Because this was the selling point of this game, was how big and open and, uh... You know, it was Hyrule Field. It was no we hadn't seen anything like this before, in the uh, fresh dawn of the 3D era. I can't believe every single fairy fountain had garbage in it. What a, what a disappointment. There's still a bunch of stuff it says that we can't do in the bottom of the well. Like, for example, the mirror shield, which we know is there, but we can't access because it needs a boomerang in order to get the spider reward for it. Let me see, hypothetically, how many checks having magic would open up. Where's magic power? There it is. Uh, currently, 33 are available. It goes. It would go up to 41. I thought it would be more than that, honestly. Remember how well? What was the last Ocarina we did? It was uh, that was the one that me and Jack both played multiplayer. I think that took us three streams, but the streams weren't as long as the, as these ones have been. I'm gonna have to pay another ten rupees to get in here. Fortunately, we're starting with all of the keys, so, uh... We don't have to worry about reaching any dead ends in the Forest Temple. We just have to navigate its, uh... Slightly confusing layout. Is there something for beating these two? I don't remember. It's not that tall in order regardless, but... No, there's not. This looks browner than I remember. Were these trees always this brown? All right, 20 rupees for spider. And 
and another spider token. Wow, I I, I like how the how the chests per, just prepare you for disappointment. I think there is a. Uh, Music customization is a feature that is being worked on for this, so, uh, it's on the way. for one of these random spiders to have a uh, opponent song. Hello! Oh no! You're in an inopportune place. That's a hell of a hallway guard. How do you even fit in here? Ah uh, yes, the Sulfos room, now guarded by a Deku Baba and a baby Dodongo. Alright, originally I believe this was just a small key. Now nut. I have two fairies, because why not? A respawning one. I could farm sticks here. Huh? I think we heard a ghost. Oh, he spawned- he- okay, so he has to spawn, like, a certain distance in front of you. So when I entered the room from that side, he spawned on the other side of this door. Oh, that's weird. I know there's a spider in each of these courtyards. Is it up there? Yeah, it's a ways up there. Maybe the long shot will reach. Yeah. Bundle of arrows. It's gold. Medallion? Please be a medallion. Or magic. Either one of those. Well, we found the slingshot. We finally have a weapon as a child that isn't just sticks. What did that open? That opened four more things. It 
wasn't in the Haunted Wasteland. Well, there are three instances of the Slingshot because it's progressive. There's the Slingshot and both uh, bag upgrades. So one of the other two instances is in the Haunted Wasteland. Can I get down from here? Yeah. There's a spider in this room. Oh, look at him try to get me. I hear the spider. Oh, it's up there. Temple Outdoor. The well is drained, so we can go down here now. These colors look different than I remember them. Maybe it's just because they're, like, in HD for the first time. Big chest. Not gold, though. I'm re Why is that a big chest? It's just rupees. Man! So I'm only going to be able to get excited about uh, gold big chests, because those are, like, good items. That's all the courtyard stuff. Now we can go on the big roundabout path with the ghosts. Good guard. Someone must replace those candles. It's only logical. Get out, of, get out of here. Get out of my way. I have to I have to do all this while listening to turtle sex noises the entire time. Just because I didn't kill that Lizalfos. a very tedious puzzle. It's kind of interesting. It's like it's a, like a 3D block maze, but uh, like it's cool that they were able to make use of 3D for their puzzle design for the first time. Couldn't do that in previous Zeldas so much. It's still a very slow process. Especially since I have to go up and down this ladder over and over again.
unfortunately, you only have to do it once per save file. Once the blocks are in place, they are in place. I wonder if the Saffron building is anyone's favorite part of Pokemon Red and Blue. Statistically, it has to be someone's. Which I never, I, I never liked the the story sections, the evil team sections in Pokemon games. They always just felt like they were interrupting what I played the game for, which was you know exploring and collecting stuff. But especially the, the, boy, the Saffron Building was just such a huge chore, unlike anything that came before it. Bow, gotta be arrows for some weird reason. There's nothing about arrows specifically that should be strong against ghosts. It's just the way things is. I'm greedy. I want that sword attack. I want to make it go faster, but it's only making it go slower. Never mind. Alright, red po chest. Blue rupees. Room with Stalfos is now... Oh, still a room with the Stalfos. And now... What will come down? A Redead and a Skulltula. I wonder if that Stalfos can only be a Stalfos. Big chest, but it's not gold, so it can't be anything that good. Ready for a heart piece. Heart container. 200 rupees. Yeah, heart piece. Why even put them in big chests? That's just setting yourself up for disappointment. That's how I do it. I just tank a hit. Maybe that's the pro strat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big gold chest. Medallion. Give me magic. Give me a medallion. It's the golden scale. Does that open anything? Nothing. 
completely useless upgrade. Did not open a single thing. Originally, there were supposed to be green bubbles here. I don't know where they went. Fortunately, I can do this room, as I only need the bow. nothing else in here. What a weird little room. This just goes out to the ledge with uh, Pierre. Pierre. I'm sorry I summoned you to the Spirit Temple for seven years that one time. No longer Skulchula is now full of all sorts of other enemies. Wow, that one's flying. Oh no! It's one of those stupid things. I don't mess with those. Falling room chest is the boss key. Feels like pushing is faster, but not by much. Uh, maybe I only sped it up a little bit. Now, wouldn't it be awful if the timers were also set to speed up at the same rate that you sped up pushing? There's still one branch that I didn't do, that I guess must have originally led to just small keys. They not think players could look up for this. Surely you can do this in the original game. I don't remember, though, for sure. Alright, back up one more time so we can go through the uh, Twisted Room.
no way to get an aerial view like that in the original game. I, I, I kind of figured. The wonders of a camera stick. This was originally the boss key chest. Now a Sculptula token. Originally a floor master, now just a pot. Goodbye, pot. Oh. Those are at once my favorite and my least favorite enemies in the game. Those are jellyfish that split into three random enemies. Is there not a chest here? There's something we're still missing called the Floor Master chest. I think it's in this next room. We gotta, like, drop through a hole or something. This is the shortcut, yeah. Yeah, here's the floor master room. Now just a, a lowly tektite. Good mini boss. Ooh. Nope, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. It's gonna be a worthless garbage item. What's the worst thing I can get now? Uh. A song, maybe? A useless song? Could be like the Serenade of Water. Menu out of Forest. The Kikiri Emerald. Kiri Emerald's only worth one check. We got magic! I just had to lower my expectations. Fight Phantom Ganon, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, 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 it's magic. <laughs> One final room. This always felt like a weird room in this dungeon. Like, they, the, they kind of shoehorned it in at the, at the last minute. You really could have just taken the elevator straight to the final boss room. I believe this is a remnant of when, uh... They were designing a wind temple for Kikiri Forest. Is, uh, the speculation... I think there's more to it than just speculation, but I don't remember the details. Hello, Dinalthos. You gonna die. Big chest near boss. Sculpturalas never deceive me. They could be anything. I got 20 cocoa beans. See? Anything. I believe that's also the final Sculptula, so the only thing remaining here is Phantom Ganon. That is one of the items that we needed, so uh, we're up to seven of the nine that we need to complete the game. 
We just need to find the last two medallions. Unfortunately, they could be anywhere, so, uh... That was the easiest of the things that we could find, was magic. Alright, here we go. It's a big, scary phantom, man. Away with you. Does this not work correctly? Oh no, there's... Well, there was two of them. I thought there's always supposed to be three. One... Two... Hello. Oh, that didn't work. Is my sword too big, maybe? Could use a bottle. That works against Phantom Ganon, too, right? The bottle thing? I would love to have a higher angle for this. There we go. Alright. Give me my nuts. So I can be done with this place. Sorry, it's a stick. Great. A stick and a bundle of arrows. I have completed your Gerudo training grounds, and I have defeated your spectral Ganondorf. And all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <sighs> we can get the chest in the Haunted Wasteland now, but we know what it is. It's the... it's the... Increased slingshot capacity. I guess I could run and get that. Take like five minutes just to have a better slingshot. What else can we do? We could go back to the Deku tree. Do the stuff that we couldn't do there because we didn't have fire. These are actually quite a bit easier to see in HD. <laughs> I bet the gamma, like the colors, are a little bit different in this compared to the original. Alright, finally. wonder, does this have the thing where, uh... No. I wanted to see if I could, uh, I could change arrows like I can in, uh, Wind Waker or Majora. Oh, there it is. Alright, slingshot upgrade. Go ahead and mark it off. Yep. Deku Seeds Bullet Bag. All right. Uh, we don't. Unfortunately, we don't have a quick way back to Zora's domain, really. I 
might just reset the game because it's at least slightly faster to get there from uh, from Hyrule Castle Town. I'm gonna stay as adult for the time being. Because while having the slingshot is nice, it would be even better to have, like, a sword as a child. That would be just wonderful. Let's see if we can find one. Or both medallions, and we'll just, we'll have to, we'll never have to be a child again. Where am I going? I'm going to Zora's Domain. At the very least, I have a, I have a lovely leaf to carry me as an adult. Uh, graveyard, I can do the Royal Grave. I can access the Shadow Temple now, see where that goes. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Another dungeon? I'll bet, I'll bet it's going to be the Water Temple hanging out behind Kikariko. Something died in the water, just dropped rupees everywhere. Hey! You're the patch of salt, yeah. We knew that, Navi. Did you think we forgot? I think that does close after a few seconds if you don't go in right away. Oh, you know what? Might as well show this off. Finally. I've been home in seven years. That's it. I think that's all the ice arrows do. Which is more than they did in the original game, granted. It would have been great to have those before we did the ice cave. Infinite magic would be a pretty cool, like, post-game. You did a really, really hard quest reward in a Zelda game. Maybe you could argue it'd be broken, but is magic really that broken? Does it need to be limited in this game? How often do you really use it? Like, really? If this were Wind Waker Light Arrows, we'd have something to talk about. But this game? No, just... Give me infinite magic for completing the Gerudo Training Grounds. How about that? Wow, it's not even deep enough for him to uh, just land in. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. You'll notice I can set uh, different types of arrows to different buttons now. It's a nice little feature. Hello, this is a small room to fight you in. You get tired trying to fly around in here? Get out of here. Oh, wait, no, I can't do this. 
Unless arrows work on this. Oh, they do. Good. I don't suppose adult can climb out of this side. Yeah, he can. Okay. We're, we're good. I want to see the I want to see the the flower grow through the block. That would be mighty impressive. That poor creature. Can I even hit it now? I don't think I can. I think it's immune. Can I climb on it? There we go. stupid spider in the Master Quest version of this room. They had to climb up a bunch of Song of Time blocks to reach. I'd like some magic jars and grass. That'd be nice. Actually, not like to fight these guys. You know, nope out of there. Where is it? There it is. Nuts. Seeds. I guess because we didn't have a slingshot, any any pickups that would have been seeds must have been something else. Maybe that's why we're getting so many arrows. Light arrows can also activate uh, sun switches, so we can do a couple things in the... Uh, in the spirit temple that we couldn't before. All that way just for one spider. And it was just seeds. Which are not even useful to me as an adult. Alright, is this too shallow? No, it's not. I can swim in the I can swim in the poop water. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, the two, three, ones have been replaced, but I assume I can open the door just by uh, defeating all three. It's quite the royal guard that Goma now has. A Kis, a Deku Baba, and a Skulchula. All right. This is kind of cool. I've never fought Goma as an adult. Hopefully, arrows work on her eye. They have to, because we can't get here as a child. Maybe I can stun? Yeah, I can use the nuts. I can't- I have to wait out this cycle because I can't use the slingshot to knock her down from the ceiling, though. Oh no, arrows work.
Alright, what do you got, Goma? Bundle of arrows? Seeds? Nut? This was the other magic location. Well, we found both of them before we found either of the other medallions. It's not necessary, but that's nice to have more magic. Let's see, bottom of the well. Where were we going? We were going to see what is in Kakariko. Wacky dungeon is back here. The Shadow Temple is actually accessible as both child and adult, so whatever's back here, we could go in either form. Jabu Jabu? It's the Water Temple. And there's an R Wing here. Because why wouldn't there be? Alright, Graveyard to Shadow Temple is Water Temple. Let's not do this. Vanilla Water Temple has 15 items inside, 16 counting Morpha. What else is there, though? Child Goron City. I don't like to admit it, but that this is our, like, next biggest find. Like, this is the most things that we can do is here in the Water Temple. Hyrule Field, Hyrule Field near Gerudo Valley. Oh, that's right. We can finally do that one grotto that we needed to burn for. Uh, I really don't want to do Water Temple, but it's, 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 it's optimal. It's the gamer choice. It's either this or just like a mishmash of random things all over Hyrule as a child. At least we have all the keys. Where is it even? It's just, it's in the walls. Go ahead and put that on. Get my boots out. It will be more tolerable because the uh, boots are equipable to a C button. We're just going to have to be thorough, checking every route at every water level, as one does in the Water Temple. And dealing with our uh, hostile R wings. I th it must have replaced one of the uh, one of the metal things at the bottom. Where does this go? I think this goes for the to the the boss key. But this goes to the the dark link path. Falling platform room, spider. We're not supposed to have the long shot by this point, I don't think. No, because we get it here in the water temple. I guess we would have it by now. That's how we would do this room.
Um, I hope I'm going a good direction. I don't want to have to do this room a second time. That would be awful. This room sucks to go through more than once. I can't long- can I just long shot right over to that one? Yeah, I can, because I got the fucking long shot. Rongafuku for the win. Just an underwater redead. Meandering about. Dark Link has uh, relocated. He decided to team up with a Deku Baba and challenge me up here. I'm sorry, it's not, uh, it's not a redead, it's a Gibdo, and it's not underwater, it's right here. I'm gonna get hugged. No, I dodged. Never mind! There you go, get out of here. Redeads and Gibdos are, uh, great magic refills, at least. So this is the Dark Link room. Since Dark Link is now in the enemy pool, does that mean that he, as a mini-boss, will be replaced by a normal enemy? Yes, he is! This is the mini-boss of the Water Temple. Good boss. I can't believe they put Dark Link in the regular enemy scramble pool. What were they thinking? Alright, the long shot is now 200 rupees. How, so how much of the water temple could we do as a child? I feel like we'd get stuck really easily. So there's a Skulchula along the path here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there he is. Let me, let me long shot. There you go. Just got a Skulchula token. Alright. No! No! Link! Why you rebound so much? Somehow I survived that. River chest. Water temple. Is this the south basement? No, it's not. I also can't see all of the names because there's a weird, like, bug with the tracker cutting off text in some spots. Pretty sure you're supposed to hit that from the front, but uh, what do I care? Uh, 
Is there anything back here? Oh, there's a there's a room up there. That's what I was supposed to be doing. Well, now I have to get rid of this guy. No, come down here. I want you gone. He's not going to fall for it. He's trying to get back home, but he can't. Dragon chest. 50 rupees. Water temple not great so far. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm caught in the dragon. There we go. I can't imagine doing this without having, like, extensive knowledge of the game beforehand. Imagine this randomizer run was someone's first time playing Ocarina. They get nowhere. They give up in, like, seconds. Just avoid those lasers? Nope, I can't? Alright. I also can't push this block the way it's supposed to go. Can I push it outward? I can't. I was not supposed to do that. Is it just gonna stay there now? What happens when I lower the water level? What's that gonna do? I mean, I could kill the Arwing, but it's just gonna respawn the next time I'm in this room. Check the uh, level two doors. There's an iron knuckle here, because uh, why wouldn't there be? Oh my god, please. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna die to this. I have no means of dealing with this thing. I can't hookshot fast enough, and I can't also, like, get out of the water fast enough. Uh... Maybe I'm going to have to find a way to get the to this door when the water level is lower, so that I can fight these things on land? I don't see any other option. I physically cannot get past that obstacle. The uh, rare underwater fire keys. The underwater R wing. If I remember correctly, the the uh, dragon statue up there goes to the final boss, so I don't want to do that yet. Did it follow me, or did one spawn here as well? Please, I just want a hook shot over there. These fucking R wings. I'm so tired of them. There's a moblin over there. 
Let's get rid of that right away. Our wing, please. And then it leaves the boundaries of the room so that I can't kill it. Also, Dark Link is just kind of hanging out there, waiting for me. Which, at least he has the cur courtesy to do. Unlike a certain Star Fox crew. kill all the enemies in this in this room originally they were fish this was a room full of the flying fish That's the first time I've encountered, like, an obstacle where I physically couldn't pass somewhere because of an enemy that I was unable to deal with. And of all things, it was a Deku Baba. Stay at the bottom while I will rise to the top like a champion. You're gonna, you're gonna give me problems, aren't you, Mr. Bemos? Weird looking eye they've got. Very unnatural looking. I guess I've just never like seen it in HD before. I'm not gonna be able to get this spider because there's an R wing shooting me. You know what? That's fine. I can come down here and I can long shot it. That's what I'll do. Please, please, R wing. Let me get my 50 rupees in peace. And <laughs> there's a pea hat down here. I don't like the water temple. I like it less now than I liked it going into the water temple. I th was this I think this was the boss key chest in vanilla uh, is it getting hit by the R wing is that what's happening move your girth Okay, I think that's everything that I need to get on this route. I can now go back out to the main area again. I'm losing hearts like crazy in this temple. The Arwen's in this room, too. The 
torches are where Ruto would be. What else is around here? There's that path, and there's the path that the, the stone is now uh, in place again. Can't go there, because uh, bombs do not work underwater in this game. Also can't go through the layer 2 area. Wait, why is that already bombed? It's weird. That's a good item, though. That's a golden chest. We have a place to check. Why is... Uh, we keep running into bo bombs... Walls that are uh, bombable but are already bombed for some reason. There's some, like, weird triggers going on here. Some weird flag set that we have not set. Oh boy. I like fighting these stick babas. I'm glad when any enemy is replaced by them. Sticks are still valuable to Child Link. I wonder how many Pokemon I'm up to by now. Maybe by the end of this run, I will have collected more Pokemon than there are Pokemon. Alright, bottom level. Let's move this block. Because this block isn't supposed to be out here. It's supposed to be in there. If the R-Wing will allow us to do so. Where did this go? It's following us! It's determined! I'm pretty sure this is a place that we've done all we needed to do in. Yeah, this was, uh, we, we came out from a path that we'd already completed this way. So we shouldn't have to go there again. This R-Wing is so frustrating for any point that we need to, like, have a second to aim our hook shot. Oh, it's the worst. This goes to a block. No, this goes to this place that we've been. I was triple checking. There's the Rudo Torch Room. And then there's this that we needed to bomb. Oh boy. Nope, let's stay up here. Let's not go to the floor of that room. I think this is just a spider, is this room. Hello, Gleam. Yeah. The uh, water temple is even worse when it's full of our wings attacking you. Thank God I entered with all the keys already. What is this? Water temple south basement spider. You may also be able to hear the iron knuckle patrolling the hallway below me right now. He seems to be having a very bad day, so I will be avoiding him.
I think there was a, isn't there a room in the back of here that I can get, like, uh, light torches to get to? Yeah. This is a very bad button to have arrows on. I have to use the D-pad and the left stick. Why is it not... It's hitting the torch at, like, next to me. You know what? I'll just use a normal arrow for this one. Let's do that. Alright, I think there's just a small key. In vanilla. But now... It's an iron knuckle. Why wouldn't it be? I gotta kill everything. Including this stupid thing. Alright, come out. Uh, how did I deal with this thing? I nutted it? No, I didn't nut it, because the nut made it not work. What a confusing enemy. For adult Link's physics. Alright, Torch's chest, piece of heart. Torturous chest. Go away, Arwing! I'm just trying to live my life! Oh, there's a whole bunch of enemies in the room below me. That's gonna be all sorts of wacky stuff down there. Go. This would be a cool place to play as a Zora child. I mean, you know, without the monsters, obviously, but uh, other than that, there's lots of cool, like, corridors and things. Okay, these can't be randomized because they require to be uh, beatable underwater. So even with a maximum bomb bag size, you can still carry more bomb chews than bombs. I guess that makes sense because you can't uh, you can't just stumble into bomb chews in the vanilla game. You have to go out of your way to buy them. Some very desert sounding music for the water temple. In it. I don't know what else water music, water temple music sounds like. I found 50 FPS. Neat. 
All right, so that... Get out of here. That's all the spiders in the water temple. Uh, I need to go back to the torches room. I also need to go back to that room on layer two to see if I can deal with them. Maybe they're not underwater now. I guess maybe I could have tried to conceivably get up there when it was at water level one. I don't know if I can or not. Otherwise, it seemed like it would be logically closed off, that room. Alright, good item. Medallion. Give me a medallion. I need the forest medallion, I need the light medallion. It's the claims check. I see. Alright. What was it doing here? I don't know. Some, some Zora wanted a sword years ago. wing and you move so slowly in this temple because you're swimming everywhere well it's still a check it's just a delayed check and it's disappointing because it's one of the rare golden chests where does this go I feel like this goes up to the the level three water level which I don't want to do that yet I want to clear out whatever I can do on level 2 first. Yes, okay, great. I can actually do this room now. Maybe I can quickly hookshot and then bow. No? Well, I can I can quickly go up and sword at least. That was so impossible to do when it was underwater. Why can't Link use a sword underwater? Is he afraid of damaging it? Like he's willing to take it underwater with him, but he's not willing to draw it. Cracked wall chest. I, I think this was the map or compass chest. It was one of these. Ow. Will the R wing leave me alone long enough to do this? Amazingly, yes. Fairly. There's the block chest. It's big, but it's not gold, so it's probably a heart piece. Two hundred, two hundred stubs. Almost done with the water temple. Alright, up here was originally a blue tektite, but now it's not going to come after me until I go up there. Wonder what's waiting for me. Could be anything. Could be a redead. Could be a Deku Baba. Could be nothing at all. Oh, 
Hello, Pierre. I forgot you were up here. Still missing one chest somewhere. Let me look at the map. I guess. Maybe it's in this next room. No, this next room is just the climb to the to the boss. You thought it was a crescent moon symbol? No, it was Yeah, they I I always saw them as targets. This, uh, fun room. Everyone's got positive memories of this room, certainly. You can't even, like, move left and right to try to position yourself and dodge the blaze. No, you just gotta do it all in one shot. Maybe I just forgot to check something. Oh, that's the wrong thing. No, get him! Link, please. He was such an easy target. I don't think I've actually taken damage from this boss in years. You know what? Let's try this. It also seems to have like a polygon jutting off the top of Morpha. You see that? What is that? Why is that happening? Oh, shut up. What? But I removed it. That means you shouldn't be able to control the water because it, it's on dry land. Gee, I wonder what Ganon's up to. I'm gonna bring you all the way over here, Morpha. Yeah. No, you come to me. Well, that's the water temple, and we got what in here? We got a claims check, and that was that was pretty much it. Last chance, did Morpha drop anything worthwhile? Morpha dropped the broken knife. Well, it's another check. It's not the worst thing ever. Better than a bundle of arrows. So we got two delayed checks out of the water temple. We can go turn in the knife, and we can go turn in the uh, the claims check. 
fortunately, they're both going to the same person. Was there anything else we were going to do in Kakarika while we were here? I don't think so. Graveyard. Royal Grave. Oh, that's right, the Royal Grave. We can do the, uh, the chest in there now. Wanted to check before I warped away. Zoom. Five Poco. Great. So after this, we don't have any big options left. We kind of just have to look around Hyrule. Other than argu arguably the bottom of the well. We want to go to a uh, child dungeon. Ill-equipped though we are. Man, the Kikiri sword is only one instance too. It could be anywhere. Alright, I have a sword for you. Thank you for the heart piece. Can you... How about this claims check? Oh, we don't even have to wait three days. We can get our bombs immediately. Great. All right. Worthless. Nothing in the water temple. Garbage, all of it. And I still have the claims check in my inventory, too. Just can't get rid of it. All right. Where do I want to go next? Bottom of the well, Goron City. There is a, a couple other things we can do as a child now. There's also that one grotto near uh, the Gerudos. Do the frog's lullaby. Lost Woods? Oh, the, uh, the target. That's right. Maybe he meant to give me a medallion. That's right. He's still got it in there. I know, I know he's got it. So most of the stuff we can now do are in Child. So uh, let's, let's go back to Kid Link for a little bit. Look, look at all this equipment that we have as an adult. You see it? It's about to be gone. You're not, you're about to not see it. We got a sling. We got a fucking slingshot. And that's it. All right. Let's see. Kakariko. What? I'm sorry. Kikiri. Target in woods. Goron City. Zora River. You know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should warp to the to the river. Maybe that'd be a good what good place to start. We are once again peasants. The worst class in all of Castle Crashers. Almost no reason to play them. Except that they can throw bombs. That's like the only cool thing about the peasants. I think there's a worse version of that type of character that doesn't even get bombs. And is, is like the worst, just the worst thing in the game. Okay, what are we doing? We got the frogs lullaby. Is there anything in Zora's before I leave? No, there is not. All right. 
go to Zoro's River. From there, we can go to the forest, and we can go to Goron's. If we get two more medallions, we've beaten the game. Other than that, good things would be the boomerang, because that would allow all of the items that are, like, spiders and things that are too far for a young Link to actually obtain. And a Pona song would unlock a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Give me my Deku nuts. Why doesn't Young Link get a bow? Is it because it'd be too dangerous? Is that, that why he's just got a slingshot? That, that's a safe child alternative? I like the idea that uh, Young Link cannot be trusted with a bow because it's too dangerous. But he is nonetheless tasked with going out, fighting monsters, and saving Hyrule. Yeah, go destroy this uh, giant stone dinosaur, but uh, we don't want you to have any real weapons. That would be too dangerous. Alright, Lost Woods target. It's the only thing here. Which is, this is the easiest thing in the world because it doesn't change your aim after each shot. You just have to hit three times. Why is that even an achievement? That's an appropriate reward for such a task. Goron City. Now we can finally do Darunia. He's been ready and waiting in his bedchamber for years. He was. He got all of the, uh... He got all the adult items as a child in Majora. Maybe Link isn't comfortable using them as a child. Maybe it took him, like, a game. Maybe he had to become an adult and use them and become comfortable with them. And then he's fine to use them in Majora's Mask. Alright, Darunia also had a bundle of arrows. Fuck is hoarding all the fire in his room. Speed? Wind Waker links a different link. He's living in pirate world. Anything goes there. Good potluck. I think that was an option, so it should always land on the uh, the big grin. Yeah, here we go. It's still a heart piece. All right. Garbage. Nothing in Goron City. Why'd I even come here? What's in Castle Town? Castle Town has the treasure chest game that we can now do. 
Now that we have magic with which to use the uh, Lens of Truth. There's the Grotto in Hyrule Field. And then there's just the bottom of the well. Wow, we're running out real fast. I guess let's, uh... What's the fastest way to get to Castle Town? I have a dumb route in mind. Let's do it. We're gonna go from Goron City to the Lost Woods. From the Lost Woods to Kikiri Forest. From Kikiri Forest to the Potion Shop. From the Potion Shop to Lake Hylia. From Lake Hylia, we can use our owl friend in order to fast travel to Hyrule Castle. All because we don't have the prelude to light. Oh, that's right, it's only open at night. What kind of shady business is the treasure chest game? You know what? I don't feel bad about cheating there. I'm morally okay with this. I got 999 rupees to spend, and I'm gonna cheat anyway. I think you can set it so that, uh, logic might require you to brute force this game, which would just be awful. I, I, I don't know why you would ever do that to yourself. You'd have a 1 in 32 chance to get this chest. It would, it would, on average, take you 32 attempts. Is it 10 rupees each? So 320 rupees on average. Or a heart piece. There's not even a quick exit. I gotta go all the way back out again. Let's set aside the weird positions of the Temple of Time and everything. This is a really deep building. To just have a door in a back alley of uh, of, of Castle Town, isn't it? Well, I guess that we can go. We can always warp to the. Uh, we can always warp straight to the the bottom of the well, which is in the Fire Temple location. So. I guess I'll walk out and go to the, uh... I'll go, I'll go to that, uh, Gerudo Grotto. Boy, we haven't seen, a uh, Child Hyrule Field in a while, have we? What wacky things are gonna spawn tonight? A pot.
Oh, like, like, I don't like that. Imagine they were able to mix in uh, bosses to the enemy randomizer. I'll bet it's theoretically possible, but uh, boy, that would be some chaos. Especially since I think in a lot of cases like this, beating bosses often triggers, like, cutscenes. Maybe not. Maybe they don't work that way on uh, on the wrong maps. <clears throat> I hear you, cow. I'm coming. Well, I no, I'm not because I can't. I can't do anything with a cow yet. I still don't have a Pona song. But, uh... Wait, no, can I not get this spider? Where's the spider? Oh, I can't get the spider as a child, because I don't have the boomerang, and it's up there. Man, I came here for nothing. Alright. Bottom of the well. Are there any dungeons we can access that I haven't visited yet? Maybe, maybe it's not showing... Maybe it's not showing checks because I haven't marked off where entrances go. Maybe I've missed some. Okay, so we can't go to the Deku Tree. We still need a Kikiri Sword, so that's not open. We went to Dodongo's Cavern. And that was, uh, that was the Ice Cavern. We did that. Jabu Jabu was in its vanilla location. So we've checked all three child dungeons. What was the bottom of the well? Did we go down there? Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. The bottom of the well was Dodongo's Cavern, which we did that. We did Dodongo's Cavern. Okay. The Forest Temple was the Gerudo Training Ground, which we've done all but one check in there. This is the Fire Temple location, it's the bottom of the well. Ooh, that's a gold chest. Boomerang. Maybe that gold chest is the boomerang. I would like it to be medallion, but the boomerang would also be very helpful. Bottom of the well was Dodongo's cavern. Forest temple was Gerudo's training ground. The fire temple is the bottom of the well. The water temple. We went inside, and what was that? The water temple was the fire temple, which we did. Alright, gold chest. It's the hover boots. Okay. Well, that's an item. How much does that open up? Nothing. That did not open any checks. Oh boy. Uh. It's a good thing that's a cutscene. Nope. I'm just gonna leave. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's a dead hand, and I don't have a sword. Graveyard to Shadow Temple. That was the water temple that we did. 
the spirit temple was still the spirit temple. That was in its vanilla location. I think we found all the dungeons. And the Gerudo training grounds was the forest temple. watched a JoJo episode about slugs and snails. It was pretty bizarre. Oh, he went up fast! There we go. Took uh, five sticks, I think. No, we haven't found all the... We haven't found the Shadow Temple. So there must be at least one that we haven't gone in. I've got the Giant's Knife. Great, I've got nothing. I lose. Wait, nope, there's another chest in there. Let's see, Shadow. Shadow Temple to Graveyard, no association. Gerudo Fortress to Training Grounds, Shadow Temple to Graveyard. Let me just check unbound associations. Just everyone that I haven't bound yet. It's the- oh, duh, it's the Deku Tree. The Deku Tree is the Shadow Temple. Yeah, that's because that's the only one that we haven't been in. So the Shadow Temple is locked behind the Kikiri Sword. I could lens the truth, but uh, that's for babies. Okay, bottom of the well. Dead hand. And defeat, defeat boss. I guess that's not considered in logic yet because I don't have a sword. Where'd he go? Where's the strong man? Okay, what else can we do in here without a boomerang? Coffin key. Oh, that's right, there's this area over here is now drained. There's on the left side? We haven't been to the lower floor. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Get a hobby. Big chest. I got my hopes up for a second, and then I realized it wasn't gold, so heart piece. Sorry, nuts. Uh, it's a Deku nut upgrade. It's super nut. Alright, coffin room. New territory. Uh, can I do anything to these guys. I can. There we go. Uh. Recovery heart. So one of these has a key inside, except it won't be a key. It'll be something else. Underwater left chest I, get, I just got. 
I think the coffin key is the only thing in this room, then. I don't remember exactly which coffin it's in. Oh boy, this spawned a Dark Link and a, t and a Tile. Well, you know what? That maybe what it spawns here will be preferable to spawning Gibdos. Like a Dodongo. He just, he just popped in there. Look at that guy. Oh, whoops. Oh, it's a Dodongo and a Floor Master. Dodongo, I need you to, to move. It's a bundle of arrows. Alright, good item. Good room. Coffin key. Alright, what's left is basement chest. Locked pits behind right grate. Sorry, locked pits? What? Oh, I know what that is. Get out of here! There's nothing down here, was there? No, just a pot. Boy, the basement is going to be full of wacky stuff. Because it's not going to be a redead down there. I it could be. Gold chest <laughs> and an iron knuckle. Come here, stupid. Yeah, get out of here. That would have sucked if it pulled me into its mouth as it's as it fell. Alright, locked pits. We got the serenade of water. Which is one it probably the worst thing that could be in a locked jar. A locked chest. Didn't help us at all. Oh, wait. Behind right grate, another gold one. Watch this be the other warps, another warp song. Or the Kikiri Emerald. We finally found a medallion. We are only missing the forest medallion. What? I should kill these spiders just to confirm what they are. Nut. Okay, got it. That means I don't need to worry about that spider. Uh, let's go to the basement. Anywhere but here. I always thought the uh, basement, bottom of the well map, looked like a police tape corp cut out, corpse cutout of Mike Wazowski. Or one of the giants from Majora, take your pick. Alright, basement chest is garbage. Nut. Out of here. The Redead became a, a wall master. Still no Kikiri sword. There also, Zelda's Lullaby opens a couple things in the uh, in the Spirit Temple, because there were locations that we needed the Zelda's Lullaby for that we couldn't do. We also have the Light Arrows we can use now, so Spirit Temple will have a few things. 
Can I warp from in here? That'd be, that'd be just swell. It'd be real convenient. There is a ray of hope that we could still beat this today. That ray of hope being the forest medallion. Triforce Hunt was cool, but I, I think I do... Do I prefer this version? I like that I can find the, like, the actual original game items, like the medallions around. Triforce Hunt was ni nice in that I got to, I got to uh, you know, skip the Ganon fight, but, uh, you know what, that's alright. I don't mind not skipping the Ganon fight either. Man! Fuck off! It's coming closer. I can't keep it away. Ow. Oh, this doesn't work. Alright. Wow, that doesn't work either? Do sticks even work? I don't think I can actually kill that thing. Wait, no, I need to kill it, though, in order to progress. Surely I have something. Oh. Surely, killing it with fire will get the job done. Why is the plant immune to fire? But, wait, huh? What if I use it from a distance? That would, that shouldn't make a difference, right? I am stymied. This this is not the first time we've had strong like Deku Babas have consistently, in competition maybe with those electric worms, been the most just frustrating enemies in this seed. Bombs don't work. Sticks don't appear to work. No, sticks don't work. Fire doesn't work. Slingshot doesn't work? I can't kill this thing. And if I can't kill this thing, I can't progress. Is it possible that I've been fucked by the enemy? The, the, the enemy randomizer? Alternatively, alternatively, I guess it's just like the... Like the Kikiri sword can't be behind this, right? That should be logically impossible because I cannot defeat... The enemy is weak only to the Kikiri sword and absolutely nothing else. I don't think I can do anything in the Child t Spirit Temple. I'm gonna have to come back as an adult. I can't even get to this part as an adult because it's blocked off on both ends by uh, crawl tunnels. So, uh, I guess back we go. No, I tried to stick. I tried literally everything in my inventory, Jack. Uh, if you left, we found one medallion. So we are 
one medallion away from beating the game. I'm so fucking close, I don't want to stop. And we're running out of checks. There's only 11 currently available. If we found the Deku, if we found the uh, Kikiri sword, we would gain access to the Shadow Temple, which I don't really want to do. But movie. Yeah, I, I said movie at like three or four. We still got potentially an hour. Are, are people getting antsy? Where am I going? I'm going to the back alley. You can ask people what times work for them, if you want to. See what other people's schedules are like today. Wicker said probably, Darian said he was joining, Illatox said maybe, so. Alright, adult, adult spirit temple, but now we can do stuff. We can do a little more than we were than we could the last time we were here. This was a dead end. This side had uh, Zelda's lullaby. chest. What? This is gonna be it. This is good. No, it's not gonna be the forest medallion. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Could be the boomerang. Or it could be a fucking ice trap. I hate this randomizer. the map chest. <laughs> kind of weird that we, we wouldn't get the map until we got to the adult side of the dungeon, if that is the case. We did all these. Oh, there's everything in this room that we can now do. And I have the uh, I have the hover boots now. Hey, yeah, Shadow Link fallen. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted the hammer. Bombs? Statue hand chest. 
Sunblock room chest. It thinks I can do, but I can't get there as a child because... Well, could I? I guess I could have. Oh, I shouldn't have gone back to adult yet. Alright, what is this? This is going to be a chest. I think this is the map or compass chest. One of the two. It's the boss key now. I don't think I can do the boss no matter what until uh, I have the mirror shield. Which we know a location, we know two locations of, but uh, it's locked behind the boomerang because it's on a spider on a wall. want to at least try to clean out the spirit temple as best that I can. And if this is just bupkis, if this is nothing, we're going to have to come back to another stream of this. This was the room that went up, which I believe is the way up to the uh, center, where the final boss would be. Here's here's something we can do. Do I have the hover boots on? No, I don't. Why why did it not? Oh, just pressing the wrong button. That's why. Additional light arrow functionality. Garbage. Nothing. Nut. And then that side just goes up to the, uh... Goes up to the mirror shield chest in vanilla. Hello. Nope, I don't want to fight you. You're going to break up into all sorts of funny things. I'm just going to leave. challenge in this room, and it's a spider token. Uh, is this the boss key chest? Because this goes up to a place that we mo pretty much need the, the mirror shield for. Well, let's see what we can do here without the mirror shield. There's an iron knuckle in the room. Oh, 
Honestly, kind of makes sense that uh, Ganon would have Gerudo guards all over Hyrule. They're useful. They're good fighters. A nut. Did waiting in there. Will this damage it? The light? No. Would have been funny. So we can do about everything except except actually open the way to the boss. Like this will go down, but it doesn't matter because we can't uh, we can't bust open that. Sadly. Was there a chest in here? I don't know what constitutes the main room. This this seems pretty main. Oh, there was a chest over there. Did I How did I just not open that? Found the Kikiri sword. How much is this going to open up? Kikiri Forest to deck to Deku Tree is the Shadow Temple. Uh, Twenty-seven to thirty spots. Well, we have that that is like our big progress item. We can finally do the uh We're going to have to come back next time and do the Shadow Temple. What is this room? Bottom left. That's on the child side. That's the room that we need the uh That's the room we need to come here as a child and light the torches in order to access. Oh, wait, no. We can uh Sorry, last thing I'm going to do. Now that we have uh, fire arrows, we have fire magic, we don't need to come here as a child. We don't need sticks, because we can just... Uh, we just use fire arrows. That'll save a trip. 86... Well, granted, we started with 40 of them, but we're up to a lot of, a lot of spider tokens. Okay, we need to light the torches in this room. That's the last thing on our on our agenda. If this turns out to be the forest medallion, we will finish this tonight, but it does not appear to be the case. It's a, it's a heart piece. Heart piece or heart container. Honestly, I would I would like to push through and continue and finish this, but uh, I, I made a I made a previous engagement, so I'm unable to. So, let's see. So next time we will come back. We we can finally beat that Deku Baba, and we'll be able to do the now 25 checks in the Shadow Temple. Uh, next stream will probably be a short one, but it will definitely be the last one. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
Well, I do this. I would like to do this tomorrow, but I'll probably end up streaming something with Jack. So I don't know when the final stream of this will be. Uh, stay tuned. Oh, maybe I'll do it Monday. I want to finish this. I want to. I want to get. I want to get this done with soon. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next time.